It's the third Sunday after the Epiphany. We're still looking for ways that not only God's signs of God's power and God's presence in the world are with us, but also how we are signs of God's power and presence in the world. We are to be the light. We are to be the signs in the season of Epiphany. And these are three great readings this morning from Jonah, from 1 Corinthians, and then from Mark. Jonah is probably one of my favorite Bible books by far. Um, not just because it's short and easy to read, but because it's also, I think, the story of so many of us who are invited and given gifts by God and invited to do good things in God's name, but we kind of try to run away from God. We try not to do the things that God is inviting us to do. If you're given a voice, why aren't you speaking? If you're given legs to run, why aren't you running? If you're given a heart for forgiveness and kindness, why aren't you using that? If you're given the hands of a healer, why are you not healing? It's sometimes overwhelming to us when we think of God calling us. God calling us to do things that God wants us to do. And sometimes we hold on to things. In 1 Corinthians, for example, we hold on to our shopping, our possessions, our spouses and families, as if those are the things that really need our attention. But as Paul says, those are temporal things. Those are things which are passing away. But God's call to us, God's creation of each one of us, invites us to be as God wants us to be. The calling of the disciples in Mark and in the other Gospels as well does kind of shock the system. These were fisher. They were fishermen. They knew what fishing was like. They knew how to mend their nets. They knew where to cast their nets. They knew how to market the fish. They knew how to salt the fish and preserve the fish and sell the fish and eat the fish and prepare the fish. And they knew fish. And yet Jesus looks at them and says, I want you to be something else. I want you to be fishers of persons. I want you to be out there bringing others to the way, the way of love, the way of kindness, the way of forgiveness. That's where I want you to be. Are you there? Jonah tried not to be the great prophet that he was. My gosh, he, his first sermon in Nineveh, and they all turn their way, turn, turn and repent and, and start doing the things that God asked them to do, to the point that God even just did not carry through with his destruction of the city. He changed his mind. God changed God's mind. Very unusual to think of it that way. But again, this is human perception, not a history book. It's a faith book. And in this faith book, perhaps really it is us changing our understanding of God. God invites each one of us to be the prophet, to be the fisherman, to be the person who goes out and transforms the lives of others. As we said earlier, to be lights in darkness, to be healers in times of pain and suffering. What has God gifted you with that you are not using for God's kingdom? What gifts of healing, what gifts of prophecy, what gifts of reconciliation, what potential for love have you been given, but you're not using? And you can try to hide. My goodness, Jonah went to the bottom of the ocean in the belly of a whale to get away from God. God is still there. God will find you. God made you. God loves you. God equips you for discipleship every one of you. So do the things that God has designed you to do. When I became a priest, I said to my discernment committee, it was like discovering that God had built me for speed, but I had not been running. Run. Amen.